we continue our celebration of the birth of a child, a child who is not born at home, in the family's home in Nazareth, not even in the comfort of the inn, but is laid in a manger. And this world will be no permanent home for this child, no final resting place. And as that child lies in that manger, the, his eyes are raised towards the heavens, to the place where his father longs to receive him, into the heart of his love. So that child is raised to the heavens. Nor does this desire to be with his heavenly father devalue the good things he has on earth. He will be an obedient child, loving his parents. And he will value them all the more because he sees them as a gift from God, a gift from his Father. Today we remember the first martyr, St. Stephen. And St. Luke tells us in his account how Stephen died gazing into the heavens. Luke models Stephen on Christ and Jesus, his very deliberate modeling. And his death on the death of Christ. But there is also something here, I think, about Christ's birth. Just as a child in the manger looks to the heavens with that innocent love of the newborn, so now Stephen plays his role in giving birth to the church as he gazes lovingly on his Lord Jesus Christ. And nor does Stephen's giving of his life devalue the worth of human life here on earth. He gives himself in love because he can see the value of each person, loved eternally by God, joined to God through his Son, Jesus Christ. Many gifts will follow from this sacrifice, and Saul, his persecutor, will be given a new birth and raised to the heavens. May we also, through the intercession of St. Stephen, come to that place where we will find peace, joy, and eternal rest.